Hey, Chris here. I just wanted to uh, do a quick little screencast on something that I saw go around a little while ago that I didn't really get the um, uh, potential of until I saw it actually and tried it. Um, and so maybe you missed it too. Um, so I'll just show it because sometimes it makes more sense when you see it rather than just reading a tweet or a blog post about it. Um, a couple of assumptions or one main assumption, I guess, is that you're already using one password to store and save and generate your passwords for the various services that you make use of online. So getting that out of the way, um, and if you're not using it already, there'll be a link below here. Go buy it, start using it, and uh, maybe I'll do another screencast on it sometime if you have, if someone has questions about it or whatever. But um, the main thing I wanted to cover with this was just the ability to have your one password, passwords and usernames sync to your Safari bookmarks. So you have your bookmarks bar across the top of Safari, or if you use your bookmarks folders, etc. Anyway, you have bookmarks somewhere. And um, within one password, you have your passwords, obviously. And so when you go to a website, typically, what I have done in the past is just using my blog, for example, you go to your website, I'm logged in, so let's log out for a second, just to show that how this works. So you go to your blog, and you have to log in. You go to the one password thing, maybe, or use the shortcut command of command slash to bring up one password. Um, but there's a quicker way. So if you go to one password, find the password that you're looking for. For in this case, uh, my blog and basically just drag, click and drag the, the shortcut from, or the password icon from 1Password to Safari. And you can give it a name, um, whatever you want to call it. And so now when you click that, that will actually go in, grab the 1Password information, pull it back in for you automatically, and log you right in. So you don't have to even fire up 1Password or hit the shortcut command or anything like that. So, um, so yeah, quick and easy. And just to show you again, if you go into one password, so you actually have to run the program itself and drag a shortcut across to your browser, give it a name, and there you go. So you could use this for all of your passwords, you know, all of your sh shortcuts that where you often go to, uh, your bookmarks, etc., to to save or just the main ones. That's all I'm using it for right now is just the main sites that I visit most often uh, rather than going through and redoing all my bookmarks from every single site I have. Hit me up in the comments below if you have any questions. Uh, I'd love to answer them about 1Password or neat ways you're using it. I'd love to hear it. See you later.